this is Christina from Channel 6 News here in Sochi, Russia at the Olympics. I'm going to interview Winston Watson from Jamaica. Wasaya. What? Oh, sorry. How do you do? Oh, good. How are you? Fine. A little chilly, but getting better. Do you enjoy bobsledding? Yep, it's one of my favorite sports, and I've been doing it for a long time. Do you like the cold weather? No, but the warm weather's the warm weather's more my style. Do you know about how big Jamaica is? Uh, it's close to three million people. What part of Jamaica do you live in? I live near Kingston, the capital, with my wife and my two kids. Thanks for letting me interview you. You're welcome. Shane Dobbin and Sochi at the Alder Arena for the 2014 Winter Olympics. Shane, can you tell us a little about yourself? Well, I am married to Dorothy Dobbin. The Dorothy Gale? Yes, beautiful Dorothy Gale. We have 10-year-old twins named Chelsea and Fernando. We live in the capital of New Zealand, Wellington, where I was been training since I was able to breathe. Me and Dorothy went to high school together, but back on subject. Even though there are 4.433 million people, you just happen to be good friends with Keith Urban, who's here to watch you today. Oh yes, me and Keith go b way back to Auckland, the largest city, where we met at a pizza parlor. He is also excited to see me and the other Olympians as we compete in snowboarding, ski racing, cross-country skiing, and many others. You come from a democratic country where you're here to come here and compete here with no strings attached. How does that make you feel? Well, it feels good coming here with my Olympian comrades. And I feel that we made good choices and are going to do well in the 2014 Winter Olympics. Well, it seems you and the other Olympians have been training exceptionally well and in your four seasons country. Thank you for your time and good luck going for the gold. Thank you, Ch Thank you, Courtney. Go New Zealand! And I'm here with Natalie Allen and reporter and John Markowski, the famous snowboarder from the Ukraine. Thank you, Don. Hello, I'm here with John Markowski. How are you doing? Amazing. How are you? Good. So how did your career start? My career started when I got my first sled and I was at the top of a hill wondering how easier and faster it would be if I stood up. When I stood up and went down the very first time, I noticed that it wasn't as easy as it looked. Wow, so this is what inspired you to become a snowboarder? Yes, and I will never forget this day. My dad always wanted me to become a snowboarder, but I did this not because he wanted me to, but because I wanted to. Okay, so who coaches you? Well, my dad, but most of the time I go to practices with the guys. Well, how old were you on your first snowboarding practice? It was on my 13th birthday and all of my friends went snowboarding. Okay, so did you live in Ukraine as a kid? Yes, I was born there. So how is it in Ukraine, or what part do you live in? Well, I live in, I live in the east central part, and for the most part, it is better than it has been. Okay, so how is the capital Kiev? Good. What's the weather like down there? Well, it's warm for the most part. Is there a lot of famous snowboarders besides you? I don't know any besides me, but there are 4.5 million people in Ukraine, so I'm sure there is. But I do know one noticeable soccer player, or as we call footballer, Andrey Shevchenko. So since the colors are blue, yellow, black, green, and red for the Olympics, then are any of these colors in your flag colors? Yes. Blue and yellow are in my flag. Yellow on top and blue on bottom. Okay, so you have been experienced for many years, and hopefully you have a head start out there. And hopefully you come in first. Well, I thank you, Natalie. Well, that's all the time we have for for today. Back to you, Don. Hi, this is 
Sally Sassafras reporting from Russia with Sean Green with 2014 Winter Olympic Skeleton Racer from Ireland. Hi Sean, how are you doing? Good, but a little bit cold. Ever been to Russia till now? No, not until now, and the rumors are true. What rumors? That it's cold and it snows all the time. True, but I'm used to it. So shall we get to the questions? So are you planning to win the gold this year? Of course, I want... Of course I want the gold. I plan on winning it and taking it back to Ireland. Well, I hope you will win it. So, are any of your parents here? Yes, of course, along with many other more people. So, do you have any idea what the population is in Ireland? Yeah, last I heard it was about four and a half million. So, what season does Ireland have? Four seasons. Where do you live? Dublin, Ireland, the Irish capital. So, what sport are you competing in? Skeleton racing. What is skeleton racing? Skeleton racing is where you go head first on a sled going down a tube. That doesn't sound very safe. I know, but it's still fun. Well, that is all the time we have, so good luck. I'll be watching you and cheering for Team Ireland. Thanks a lot, Sally. See you later. <laughs> Anna Capolini joining us from Italy to talk about the Winter Olympics in Sochi. Thanks for having me. How has your skating been doing lately, Anna? Well, I've practiced a lot and I hope it'll pay off. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, I'm from Italy and I'm competing in figure skating. I'm a one-time gold medalist and a one-time bronze medalist. How about your country, Italy? There are close to 61 million people in Italy. Giorgio Napoli Napolitano is our president, and a major city in Europe, or Italy, is Rome. Here's a video clip on the highlight of Anna's routines in the past years. Anna, that was phenomenal work. How do you train for those intense few minutes? Well, my trainer, my partner, and I all try our hardest at practice, and we all open to everyone's new ideas. There have been a lot of threats surrounding Russia and the Sochi Winter Games. How do you think this will turn out, Anna? Well, we have a lot of security around the Olympic arena this year. I think everything will be fine. I agree with you very much. So tell us, Anna, have you ever fallen before? Um, yeah, tons of times. Like where? In practice? Anywhere specific at all? I think everybody falls on their bottom every single once in a while, but if I do, that's where it normally is. Thanks for coming, Anna. You're welcome. Anything to say to your fans before we go? Thanks for your support, guys, and go Italy! This is Natalie Jenkins reporting to you live. Thanks for joining us on E! News. Back to you, This is Diana Buckland reporting live for Channel 3 with Olympics News. Today, I'm here with Dashiri Sherpa, the cross-country skier for Nepal. So, Dashiri, how do you feel about being the only athlete for Nepal? I actually feel kind of nervous without some of my fellow athletes. That is understandable. After all, you are from South Asia, where it would be hard for your country to afford a plane to Sochi. So, Dashiri, what made you interested in the sport in the sport skiing? Well, I've skied with my father since I was young. Because there's plenty of snow and mountains, it is easy to practice with him all the time. So, you are originally from South Asia. What was it like growing up here? Well, currently Ram Baran Yadav is our president. He has been president since I was young. 
There are also currently 27.5 million people in South Asia, and they are a good example of our culture. So, what are some of your other hobbies? I do like snowboarding, but I'm not good at it. Do you feel like Sochi will be a safe place for you to try and win the gold? Well, as we all say in South Asia, Sape Kamene. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you to Shiri, and I will see you at the games. <laughs> today on 1011 News to be with bobsled gold medalist Dean Ward and our fabulous reporter Don. How are you Don? Ready to get started? Yes, I suppose so. Is all your country, Europe, here in Sochi? By the way, how many people in, are in Europe anyways? Hmm, well I suspect around 739.2 million. Really? Wow. So, tell us a bit about yourself. Where are you from? My hometown is London, but I spend my days in Edinburgh. They are both in the United Kingdom. How's the maritime climate suiting you? Well, I don't get salt with snow in the winter, so I usually practice on a man-made course with thick snow. Isn't your political system, like, um, multi-party, or...? Well, that's right, but it's called a parliamentary system. Who do you want to impress at this year's year's Olympics in Sochi? A ruler, Queen Elizabeth II. So I've heard of terrorist reports. What do you think? Sochi is heavily guarded, and I think they are all tough. We're out of time. Goodbye. Well, you've seen it today. Dean Ward, good night. <laughs>